Good evening, and thank you for tuning into Puppet News Network, where our fate is in your hands and your hands are up our butts. I'm Sarah Hoffman. And I'm Sam Sampson, and this is the news. Our main story tonight is the updated interaction guidelines from the Center for Disease Control. Their latest discovery is that the safest way to have sex is by masturbating six feet from your partner. Now, that doesn't sound safe to me. That just sounds like a lawsuit. Also tonight, Governor Andrew Cuomo announced that to protect our families, the pandemic lockdown has been extended another month. This means everyone must stay inside unless their trip is essential. Ooh, if Daddy Cuomo wants me to stay inside, it's essential that he locks me up, throws away the key, and keeps me company. But first, we have been asking for personal stories and experiences about how people are dealing with the virus. And the results have been pouring in. Tonight, we will be sharing the experiences of Michelle, who's been locked up in her fully stocked bunker since the beginning of the outbreak. It definitely helps to be prepared. Let's see if we can reach her now through the satellite link we set up. Can you hear us, Michelle? Are you there, sweetie? Yes, I can hear you just fine. Welcome to the safest place in the world. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are all fascinated to hear how you've been getting by. Well, I don't get much news down here, but someone opened my hatch and threw garbage in a newspaper in. When I saw people were finally talking about the virus again, and you wanted to talk about experiences, I thought maybe I should reach out. So I sent you that carrier pigeon. And we're sure glad you did. What did you mean by people finally talking about the virus again? Well, I hadn't heard anything about it for what seemed like years. Everyone was so worried about this Y2K virus, so I got into a bunker with no technology to stay safe. You can't trust those robots. I've been down here a while now, but it sounds like things are finally under control. You quarantine to protect yourself from the Y2K bug? Bug, virus, whatever you call it. I don't know much about computers, but I knew me and Fluffy would be safe down here until everything blew over. Oh good, your cat is keeping you company? Was Fluffy a kitten when you took her down there? No, she was 18. She's my cranky old lady now. That would mean she's almost 40 now. Don't worry, honey. 40 suits you much better. Oh my, someone's ears were burning. Oh, are you going to hold her up for the camera? Yeah, if she lets me. I guess someone is cranky from being cooped up inside. When do you think y'all will be getting out of there? Ouch! I was keeping track of the days for a while, but eventually I stopped caring. We've just been waiting for the government to issue an alert that the disaster is over. We've celebrated quite a few of Fluffy's birthdays. Is that a cake I see on the table next to you? It sure is. Fluffy! Come here and enjoy your cake. What? You don't want to come up here to meet our new friends? You don't want to eat any of this cake? Fine. More for me, then. Michelle, is that a can of tuna? Nope. All we got down here is cat food. Did you know you can get all of the nutrients and protein you need from it? And it can keep for years. It's been some time since I thought about feeding a pussy. Do you eat that stuff, Michelle? Yup. You're lost, Fluffy. This is all for me now.
Well, that was a fascinating human interest story, wasn't it? It certainly was. A note to our viewers, if you are in a bunker taking shelter from the Y2K bug or any other bug, please stay a little longer. I'm Sarah Hoffman. And I'm Sam Sampson, signing off.